You can make so much money with this, it's not even funny. For the longest time, videos were longer than a minute and people were used to watching longer videos overall. Until recently, videos started becoming shorter and shorter and people would give you approximately a few milliseconds before they scroll on to the next video. Now, how does this make you money? Before I tell you about that, let me tell you about a person you may or may not know and that person is called Alex Hormozzi. Alex sold all of his businesses and he decided to go into content full force. He was making millions of dollars in profit every single month and decided to sell it all in order to pursue this opportunity because he saw how important that is. Now obviously Alex does not have the goal of becoming a YouTuber or influencer or someone who creates content but he is using content as a vehicle to get to his billion dollar opportunity that he is trying to achieve. This tells us something now, even though he is not pursuing the title of content creator or YouTuber he's using this because he sees the opportunity there and he sees how much growth this can happen and the proof is there. He grew from zero to one million subscribers in just six months now. Obviously he's been pushing out a lot of content and he has a lot of value to share but if this tells you something is that you probably must start your personal brand. Now could he have done this in a different way by for example paying for Facebook ads or going on billboard or going on TV commercials? I highly doubt it. Could he have grown one million subscribers or gather an audience of one million people any other way apart from posting content consistently and driving more traffic to his business? Business? I don't think so. Now I know what you're thinking. You're telling yourself, well, what does that have to do with me since I don't have a business and I don't have any skills to share with other people? Well, here's how this can benefit you. Now I'm assuming you do something with your life, whether it's going to school, whether it's having a job, whether it's having a skill or a hobby that you can share with other people, right? Now if you don't do anything with your life, I might have something for you to potentially start after this video. Three things you can implement in order to benefit the most and start making money from this. And these are in order of lowest leverage to highest leverage. To be more specific, a higher leverage activity is something where you don't input much to it, but the results are big or there's a big output that comes from. Number one, becoming a video editor. Becoming a video editor is one of those skills where it's exponentially increasing over time. Everyone is starting to post videos online and everyone needs an editor to post good quality content online because quite frankly, not everyone has the time or not everyone is interested in learning how to edit videos. And here's where you come in. If you don't know how to edit and you've never edited any videos before no problem just hear me out you can learn most skills in around 20 hours so let's say you decide that on monday you're going to learn how to edit you can do four hours a day and learn how to edit by friday now are you going to be a professional absolutely not are you going to have enough knowledge for you to start editing videos and potentially start getting paid for them Yes, obviously you're not going to charge a thousand dollars for your first project, but you're going to start small and slowly but surely get better and better over time. Start making more and more money over time. The more clients you get, the more jobs you get, the better you're going to get. And essentially clients are going to be paying you to practice editing, which is really good if you think about it. Now remember, I mentioned that this is a low leverage activity because it's very time consuming and you are going to need to be at your desk editing and focusing on doing the tedious work, which is editing. However, that is work that is essential to be done. And with time, you can start making more and more money and the better you get the more money you can charge now a step above that which would be a bit higher leverage or a lot higher leverage i would say would be hiring editors to work for you and having your own team of editors or team of content creators which would essentially mean you have a content creation agency now the reason why this is a higher leverage is because at this point you know enough about editing to the point where you can decipher what makes a good video and what makes a bad video and now you know how to decide and make decisions when you have editors working for you to sell them to add this, remove this, add that. Now you can manage a team of editors, which would increase the leverage you have. So for example, instead of you being able to take on two clients a week at max, now you can take on 20 clients a week if you have five different editors working for you. And obviously this would stack on top of each other. If you have one client paying you $2,000 a month, you can get five clients and you're at $10,000 a month. Obviously this all sounds very easy to be done. However, it's not that easy. It is simple, but not easy. And with this, you can scale as much as you want. The more editors you hire, the more clients you can take on and the more clients you have the more money you can make the only limit with this would be the knowledge you have on how to scale businesses which you can learn online basically for free or you can even buy courses that would teach you all that or have a mentor that would teach you on how to scale further and your willingness to expand and to work harder these are the only two things that are going to limit you from growing that business and the third and probably the highest leverage activity would be creating content about things that you enjoy doing or things that you are just knowledgeable about and you would like to share with other people and provide 
them with value. This is massive. Remember what I said about Formosi earlier and what he gave up in order to go all in on content. I'll give you an example with numbers. Let's say you are a fitness trainer and you sell coaching programs for $1,000. Let's say you have 10,000 followers, which is not very far off. If you post consistently for six months, you probably can get there fairly easily. And let's say you have been posting consistently and providing value and giving people free value about how to lose weight, how to get fit, how to build muscle and all that. Now you have authority and people trust you and they listen to you. And you've given them so much value to the point where they want to buy from you because that's how the world works. When you give people stuff for free, they want to reciprocate and they want to give back. And some people don't just want to support you, but they like a structure of a program which would help them follow step by step because they can learn by themselves on YouTube or online by getting some information from here, some information from there, or they can get a program where they can learn everything step by step and follow something to the T, something I like doing as well. Now imagine 100 people or 1% of your followers buy from you that course for $1,000. You just made $100,000. Now imagine scaling this even further when you have 100,000 followers and when you have 1 million followers. Obviously, it's not that easy to get there, but just do the math there and see how much this is scalable and how much money you can make from this. And the reason why this is one of the more higher leverage activities is because you can post one video that goes viral and you already have a program linked under that video and this can get you sales forever for as long as the video is getting views. Now, this can be applied to any other niche. You can be a carpenter, you can be an engineer, you can be an artist. Eventually, we all have a skill. We learn from people who are ahead of us in that particular skill and we teach people who are below us in that skill. You don't really have to be an expert to teach people about what you've done. You can just be a guide instead of a guru and show people where you're going, show people what you're learning, teach people about the mistakes you made so that they don't do those mistakes themselves. At the end of the day, money is just an exchange of value. You give me value, I give you money, I give you value, you give me money. The bonus tip, which is the fourth one, and this will blow your mind if you really focus on it. And that is something that a lot of agency owners who are also creating content are doing and leveraging to the max. So these content creators have agencies and whether it's a creative agency, whether it's a lead gen agency, whatever it is, they they provide a service for businesses or for consumers. Let's take an example of an agency that provides short form content editing or the TikToks or the Reels or the YouTube Shorts that you see with the captions. Someone does these, obviously Alex Hormozy, taking him as an example and mentioning him because he's the topic of this conversation. He's not editing these videos himself, obviously, and he's not captioning them. He has an agency that does all that for him. Now, people who have an agency, what they're doing is they are posting content online about their experience and their process with that agency agency and what they're learning and how much money they're making. So by posting content, they are teaching people what to do for free and giving value for free. Now, in the meantime, people are seeing them and they are hiring their agency because now they have exposure and now people see them and know about what they do. And they're like, hey, can you edit my content? I like you. I trust you. I see you online. Please edit my content. And now they're making money from this end where people pay them in return for their service. Not only that, but now they can start teaching people about what they do, but in a more close community or an exclusive group where people have to pay to have access to that community and where they can sell you a course or anything that is an upsell of what they're doing. So YouTube would be the free content. So the course would be a step-by-step -step guide on how to improve in this and how to start from a beginner to become an expert. And hopefully that's the case. Obviously not all courses are going to be good. Some of them are going to suck. Some of them are going to be great. But the goal is to provide as much value as possible in a very structured and simple way to follow that takes you from beginner to hopefully good enough to make money. And now their content brings in money because people are buying the course because they watch their content and they see them as an authority like mentioned earlier and now they buy from them because they trust them and they want to learn from them and they want to get and become in their position. Many agency owners get to the point where their courses generate them so much money to the point where they don't even need to provide the service. And if they focus more on content, they're going to sell more courses and they're going to make more and more money rather than focusing on providing the service already. For example, Iman Gadji, that's how he made a lot of his money. Obviously, he had an agency. He did really well with that agency and he sold a course. Eventually, his content brought in so many people buying his course to the point where he doesn't need to provide the service anymore. Might as well double down on content and he's been killing it, has over 2 million followers now and he's killing it basically from that. So the point of this is start your personal brand or if you don't want to start your own personal brand, learn the skills necessary to help others start their own personal brand because this is a skill that's going to be evergreen. This is a skill that's going to be here most likely forever. No one really knows, but it's going to be here for a while as long as we are alive because everyone wants their resumes out there and everyone wants to make more money. Nowadays, the way to make more money or the most money would be through a personal brand. So that's it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and if you need help with 
starting your own personal brand or you just want to learn the skills of how to start a personal brand, click the link in the description to schedule a call with me. If I can't help you, then the least I can do is try to point you in the right direction. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.